Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. We are going to unbox this package we have received today and have a look at the Hanau Spring Face Bow and how to use it. Now, this might seem to be a huge box and that's because we also have the Hanau Wide View Semi Adjustable Articulator inside. Quite a long name, I know. But this is one of the most famous articulators you'll hear about. So while I rip off the seal, do let me know in the comment section below if you are interested to see more unboxing and first impression videos. Also, if you are a brand or a dealer who would like to send us review units, check out the contact information in the description box below. And well, it seems like it will take me ages to open this package. So let me just roll the intro for you all. This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Okay, so here we are inside the box and we have lots of foam balls for protection during transport. And as you can see, we have the iconic black box of this articulator. We also have a white box inside for the face bow. So here we have it. It says Whip Mix Restorative Oral Health. Let's open it for the very first time and see what all we have inside. Quite a lot of items inside. So I am starting with this one which appears to be similar to the Bluetooth headphones we have seen. Now this is the U-shaped frame. Now Facebook is a caliper-like device which is used to orient the maxilla to the temporomandibular joint. So we use it for the orientation jaw relation. Now the U-shaped frame, this represents the plane of the cranium. Okay. Now in this design, we have a earpiece as you can see here which fits into the external auditory meters of the patient. We also have this little hole in front of the earpiece, which denotes the true hinge axis. Okay. So in this phase, we are not locating the true opening or hinge axis of the TMJ. Okay. Instead, what we are doing, we are using the earpiece as a reference. So this one is the arbitrary phase bow, not a kinematic. Kinematic phase bows are the one which can record the true hinge axis of the patient. And their design is a bit different and they have condylar rods, I believe. Okay, just let's not go into that much detail because this is just unboxing and first impression. Here we can also see we have orbital pointer, which is used to mark the infraorbital notch of the patient. You know, we have to first palpate the infraorbital notch of the patient and align this orbital pointer to that. Okay. In the front, we have a slot for attaching the locking device and we have a screw here, which helps us secure the locking device. We'll see what the locking device is in a while. Then here we have two bite forks. This one is for the dentulous patient. So basically we put the registration material here and put it inside the patient's mouth to take the indentations of the upper teeth. Now in the bite fork, you can see that we have this dotted part, right? This 
protrusion so this should always be superficially and this is the same for both the forks in the edentulous fork also this dot has to be on the superficial side okay not the opposite now this fork is for the edentulous cases you can see we have two prongs here the inner prong will go and it will be fixed to the maxillary rim okay and this you know peripheral prongs they will be aligned to the buccal surface of the rim okay more details on that when we actually demonstrate it on a patient then we have this locking device basically it will attach the u-shaped frame with the bite fork and here we can see we have three screws here so we can adjust the plane and lock it in place using these three thumb screws then we have this transfer assembly rod so after we are done with the face bow record we have to transfer it to the articulator so this transfer assembly rod this will be attached to the locking device and this will help to stabilize the assembly while we articulate we also have one more method of transferring the face bow record to the articulator and that is by using the mounting platform so this is the mounting platform we can see that we have this extension here this will be used to attach the cast holder or say the fork holder as you can see it can adjust itself according to the inclination of the cast and also the height could be adjusted by using this screws here so these were all the parts of the face bow now let me just give you a quick demonstration on how to assemble this and how to you know make the face bow record so i am taking the u-shaped frame and loosening the screw so that my locking device can fit inside okay now that i have fitted it inside i am just locking the screw back again so that the assembly does not move and you can see the thumb screws they have to be loosened completely so that we can adjust it according to the patient now that we have done that we'll take the bite fork make sure that the pointed tip of the fork should be superficially okay and the midline of the fork which is represented by this line it should be according to the midline of the patient then you have to take the bite fork and put the registration material like we can use two sheets of modeling wax heat it up and you know and adapt it properly and then put it inside the patient's mouth then take this u-shaped frame and locking device assembly and then with the patient's help insert the ear pieces into the external auditory meters of the patient also palpate the infraorbital notch and we have to align the orbital pointer according to that and then finally we have this hole here in the locking device which is used to attach the bite fork so just put the bite fork inside and align it according to requirement and then lock it i am locking the thumb screw 3 first so that you know my bite fork does not fall because i don't have a patient to bite on it and stabilize it so i'm just locking it but the sequence usually is 1 and then 2 and then 3 okay remember that so you can see here when i loosen the thumb screw 2 so we can see here that when i loosen the thumb screw 2 i can actually move the assembly left and right okay and if i just tighten this and open the thumb screw 1 you can see that we can move the assembly now up and down right so these are the functions of these thumb screw okay according to the patient we can actually change it right see how it is sliding up and down and left and right okay so this is getting a little difficult to do without a patient but anyways this is how it looks from the side now let us suppose we have made the adjustments and made the facebook record now we have to transfer it to the articulator again i don't have the articulator with me right now to show you so i would just like you to imagine i'm sorry for that i'll take the transfer assembly rod and attach it to the locking device as you can see and this will help to stabilize other method as already told is with the help of the mounting platform okay just take the mounting platform you see the protuberance there then attach the 
fork stabilizer or cast stabilizer okay here we have the thumb screw that we can tighten okay and here we have it this is how it will look okay on the top we will have the maxillary cast and we can mount the upper cast and then after we are done mounting and the material is set we can remove this assembly so i think i have touched upon all the important points regarding facebook today and hopefully i'll show it on a subject soon the proper demonstration this i would call avi wala demonstration so hopefully soon not avi wala demonstration but actual demonstration on a patient will be done so i hope you found the video helpful and since you are here with me till the end of the video i hope that you will subscribe to my channel and help me reach 1 lakh subscribers soon i really wish for that silver button so fingers crossed and need your support for that you can also visit our website for more tutorials more lecture animated lectures multiple choice questions and many more content we are adding so till we meet next time take very good care of yourself allah hafiz